KPRC2 investigates has some new information on a story we broke last week. A Crosby woman accused of running several neighborhood brothels is facing new allegations following a recent grand jury indictment. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold has been on this story since last week. It was first on two and tonight he has that update. We're back in these neighborhoods because the woman already accused of running several illicit massage parlors and spas is facing new charges this week. This time, it's money laundering. The whole point of this is, you know, we want to take the profit out of their crime. Harris County Prosecutor Elizabeth Hayes is talking about the investigation into Hailan Yi. This week, a grand jury indicted Yi on money laundering charges. Over the course of uh, approximately three years, 2020 to 2023, uh, I believe our records show that she was laundering well over $400,000. Court documents show investigators conducted several undercover prostitution stings at massage parlors and spas investigators say are run by Yi. In fact, Hayes says the investigation began with an anonymous letter to the DA's office. Making allegations that Highland Yi was trafficking women in from Taiwan and had given us a number of locations. After the prostitution stings, prosecutors followed the money. Hayes says they connected proceeds from these businesses to bank accounts in Yi's name. We executed search warrants at seven locations, a vehicle, and numerous banks, so we're still pouring over everything. KPRC 2 investigate showed you Yi was already facing charges of aggravated promotion of prostitution. We left several messages for Yi last week, but never received a response. We tried again Friday at her Crosby area home, but again got no answer. Hayes says the investigation is not over and is part of a renewed effort by the DA's money laundering section to crack down on these businesses. We're going to be able to reinforce that message that, you know, Harris County doesn't tolerate this kind of activity. He has been released on bond, but one of the conditions of that bond is she can't visit any of her businesses. She's due back in court at the end of the month. Reporting from Northeast Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.